Spice Rack, where you at? Come on, let's go potty. Every morning. This happens every morning. <laughs> she wraps herself up like a burrito and then can't find her way out. Come on, Chloe. Does it mean that I take pleasure in this? This is so funny to me. Every morning. This time she's wrapped up like... Watch out, you're in your water dish. Follow my voice. Follow my voice. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> go potty. <laughs> Every single morning that happens. It's your girl Spice coming at you with the vlog today because you know what I realized the other day I was going on my rant about them two crazy women that I was dealing with Jesus I gave it to you and I forgot to show y'all what I bought from Burlington because my trip is exactly two weeks away so I got a few things just some little little necessities to wear while I'm there both on my body and on my feet because I can't be walking around and having sore feet. And even though it's gonna be kind of springtime, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking and I don't want, I need, I don't want sandals. Like I need some support because that's the worst thing is to have hurting feet when you're trying to have fun. You know that will ruin the day. So let me show you what I got from Burlington. Okay, so I just got a few items that I could go and add. This I thought was just colorful and cute. Plus I'm going to a 90s concert in a couple weeks and I thought I might be able to work this into my costume slash outfit. But it's long sleeves, which is why I got it really, because you know, sometimes it's cool. And I was hoping somebody could tell me what this says. If anybody knows, let me know, because I'm really not into wearing stuff I can't pronounce, but, or what I can't understand. Then I got this cute little jacket. Y'all, the windbreak is just coming back. Whew, it's just cute. It says love on the, the top. And the shirt over here, I had the shirt, but I'm pairing it with these. They're kind of those like linen pants, but I thought they were cute because they have this around the ankle. So you can scrunch them up a little bit or just wear them as long pants. Then I got a few different pairs of walking shoes. Now I said I wasn't going to wear just sandals, but let me tell you, I have big feet. You see them size 10? So when I see a cute sandal, I got to snitch it before someone gets to it. And then I got this lightweight jacket. Has a hood on it, zipper, buttons. But I figured it'd be a good traveling jacket because then... You know, I don't like being cold. So yeah, that's what I got. It wasn't much. And I have, see they're already on hangers because I've already been planning out what I'm gonna wear just to make sure I have what I need. So we'll see How about that y'all. I didn't show y'all the other day cause I was wound up as you could see. So now me and Chloe are going to head to my grandma's. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna try these shoes on and wear these today to see if they, um, they gonna work on my feet like those they kind of like they kind of look like they they feel like it's a sock normally I do wear socks with my shoes which I'm gonna go put some on but these you don't really need to because they have this little part it's really cute and comfortable oh so we are gonna run down to my grandma's me and Chloe are gonna go down there um I have a few items in my closet that she's been waiting for me to grow out of that she put claim on so I'm gonna take her those today um and then I had ordered all this stuff because she has really chronic pain, like in her knees, her joints, her hips, all that stuff. We've tried the CBD oil. We've tried the brownies. We've tried all the medicines, all of the stuff. And she still has pain. So, hey, friend, hey. Hey, friend, hey. From the friend zone had this recipe for this black pepper salve. And I'm going to try to make it for her and give her a rub down and see if it works. It's supposed to take all the inflammation out. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. Let's go. So I'm back here, I'm here at my grandma's house and I just made this black pepper salve and I didn't get to show you how I did it step by step, but I'm gonna show you what's in it because I forgot to order the beeswax. Now the beeswax is gonna give it more of a Vaseline texture. Um, you can probably see the jiggly in there. Because we don't have the beeswax, it's very liquidy. So all you do is you take sweet almond oil and I ordered this from our acacia it's on there. Oh, look at there, zooming in. So this is sweet almond oil. You put seven tablespoons of the sweet almond oil, 12 
of the balsamic fur needle, 12 of the nutmeg, and lastly, you need 24 of the black pepper. So all those drops go into the glass container, but you typically you would take the beeswax, warm it up in a double boiler so it would, you know, get thin, and then you add all the stuff to it and then let it set up in one of these and then you rub it on but we didn't have that so we just made do so I applied it to my grandma's knees ankles and legs and it's supposed to be applied at least once a day for at least a week to get results so I'll keep y'all updated it's called a black black pepper salve and I'll put the link in the bottom in case some of y'all are dealing with some pain there's actually been a couple of you who told me that you've recently been diagnosed with lupus and I won't say your names because I don't want to put your business out there. But they say that this really helps with that um, pain to help relieve the inflammation or anything like that. So if you're struggling with arthritis, fibromyalgia, I would say give it a try. But let me try it out on her and then I'll give you an update. Okay, hold on guys, be back. <sighs> Y'all, I just have to apologize for my appearance right now. I realized yesterday that I was trying to do my video and I don't know where the footage was. It's on my phone, but for some reason it will not transfer over to my, my laptop. And so I wasn't able to put a video out on Monday. Now I just finished my workout, and I realized that I only have about five or six minutes of footage, which is okay, but I didn't end it. So I wanted to end the vlog. I apologize because I had other things I wanted to show you, but I'll just do that another time. But I thank y'all if y'all watched to the end. Sorry this was short, quick. But I just want y'all to see, look at this sweat. Your girl is sweating. Sorry about the hair, but I had to get this in and get this footage done so I can put it up for y'all today or tomorrow, sorry. So, Spice Rack, you know you my people and I love y'all, we here. If you ain't part of the Spice Rack, I don't know what you're waiting for, but come on, it's over here, it's fun over here. Come on over, stay a while, push that subscribe button. Otherwise, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let everybody know what your girl is doing out here in these workout streets with your boy. Can you see him? I don't know. There your boy is. He's tripping today. He worked your girl hard, but it was all for good. So I will see y'all soon. Thank you so much. Come back. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.